Right, this morning I'm going to show you how to centre a piece of clay. Before you start centering clay, you need to get it in the right shape. That is a perfect shape for centering a piece of clay. It's acorn shape. The centering's part done for you when you get the shape of clay. So we'll start. The first thing to do is to throw it into the centre of the wheel, or as close as you can. Don't place it on the centre wheel, throw it onto the wheel. The harder you throw it, the better the suction will be underneath and the less chance of your clay actually sliding off when you come to when you come to throw it. The next thing to do is to get comfortable. You need your knees up at the wheel tray, you need your arms on your knees, you need your hands around the side of the clay, and you need a head directly above the centre of the clay. That's a good comfortable position. You can use a lot of your upper body strength if you get yourself in this position. The second thing to remember when you're centering is your wheel wants to be spinning at its fastest possible speed. Yeah? Right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to bring this clay up into a cone. So I'm going to apply pressure around the bottom of the lump of clay using this part of my hand. You can actually see where the clay has been on that part of my hand. Also, this hand is going to mirror it on the other side. I'm going to put equal pressure on and I'm going to force that clay up into a lump. Plenty of water and you just put the pressure on and you bring the clay up into a column. It doesn't need to be too high, that's plenty high enough for a lump of clay of this size. Now you've got to send that clay back down to the wheel in. A common mistake that people make is pushing straight down like that. And what you get if you do that is you get mushrooming like this. And if you push that all the way down to the wheel in, you're going to trap air. I'll show you another way of doing it, my way of doing it, or the way I was taught to do it. If you grip the lump of clay on the side with your left hand, thumb running up the back of the lump of clay. If you actually put pressure on with your thumb, that clay is going to start going down, naturally start going down. I'll bring it up again and I'll show you that again. So you put pressure on with the back of your thumb, that clay is going to start going down. So let's just control it a little bit more then. So you bring your thumb up the back of the lump of clay and you bring this hand in so you've got that sort of shape to capture the clay. That clay can't go anywhere, you've got that captured now. Right? And your hand around the side of the lump of clay, capture your clay, send it down into the middle of the wheel head. If you do this, you also naturally make, I'll just bring that up again, you also naturally make a mould with your hands that the clay can sit in which will allow you to centre it into a good shape. So I'll just show you that one more time. So you lean against your clay and you send it down towards the wheel head. It's still not fully centred. So what I'm going to do next is the next process I use is this arm. This arm I use like a like a like a, a, a ram I suppose and I'll push through the access from 7 o'clock, if you imagine that that lump of clay is a clock face, you push from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And if you push along the access with a straight arm, at some point that clay has got to go in the centre. What you've got to do is recognise when it's there. And I'll, I'll exaggerate this a little bit. That is massively off centre. So I'm going to push with this arm, and at that point I know that that's centred. Because I've pushed all that on centre clay in, it's come up and it's created on an even top. So this hand comes in and this takes care of that. So it's a case of juggling between pressure on this arm and pressure on this arm and it will go in the centre. It can't go anywhere else. If you push too far it's still going to come back and see you very very quickly. So all you've got to do is just fine tune it. I'll show you that again. So that's off centre. So you press with one hand the, the, the left hand and you control the clay that comes up with your right hand in a mould like that and that's the centre lump of clay. I'll take you through that one more time. So we're going to corner it, bring it up into a column, lean against it, push it down, fine tune it, it's centered. It's a really difficult thing to do with centering. So what you need to do is make it as easy for yourself as you possibly can. And I find this is a good easy way to centre clay. See how you get on with it.
you know. Thanks for watching. Bye.